Hello there, this is Billy. You know I've been designing a lot of 3D printer parts for Crystal Radio. This time I'm designing a 3D printer watch Crystal Radio for the FM. So this is a carry-on from the previous AM Crystal Radio that can wear on the watch. Now this is FM. You can see uh, we still have the bevel gear but uh, the gear has been redesigned so I can put a coil at the center that will link to the variable capacitor that is driven by this baffle gear that connects to this variable capacitor at the top turning the knob will turn the moving plate of the VC I will put a link to the YouTube video description to my blog and from there you will get a link to the 3D print files you can download them, then open it using a slicer software like Cura. Then you can print it to your 3D printer. Total print time is around 10 hours. Before we start making the crystal radio, let me show you the circuit diagram. If you use diode, you can follow the bottom half, which is the diode circuit diagram. The type of diode you can use can be a scotchy diode which are more sensitive like 1SS918 or 1SS86 but if you choose to use more conventional germanium diode like 1S60 the output may be halved to make the crystal radio you need to make a coil total of six turns you connect the antenna at the end of the coil and the circuit run on the first turn and then on the other end you connect in parallel the variable capacitor for the moving plate is connecting to the ground the fixed plate connect to the top of the coil which we call the hot end the second antenna you can draw it from one turn after the circuit runs. Like an AM crystal radio, your diode can be connecting to any one of the tapping points from circuit ground to the hot end. I've tried two turns above circuit ground which seems to have a good output. If you connect the diode to the hot end, it will also work but it will be a bit more noisy. If you are using a MOS FET, you can follow the top circuit diagram. MOS FET have four poles, G1, G2, they are the gates, and then D for drain, S for source. Gate number two is connected to the hot end of the coil. Gauge number one is connecting to the circuit ground. Source S is connecting to one turn above the circuit ground. After printing all the parts, you find two parts uh, that are the fixed plates. <coughs> then we need to mount it and stick it onto a copper sheet. The copper sheet we are using is 0.3 millimeter thick. So stick it there and in order to fix it in position we will drill two holes and mount a screw just to fix it so when we cut it with the scissor it won't slip we'll make sure it's cut accurately next use a metal cutter to cut it uh, be careful not to <coughs> over cut it try to follow the mode to cut the copper plates beneath it Follow the same way to cut the two fixed plates and the one moving plate, that's the one on the right. Besides the 3D printer model, we also need some M4 screws, M4 nuts and some contact plates. So let's start building it.
Let's mount one filler on top of this M4 screw before we put in the fixed plate. This will give enough space and between the fixed plate. So there's another filler, thinner filler in between two fixed plates to keep them at the right distance, which is around one millimeter. After that, we can work with the moving plate and test it. Let's make sure nowhere it is soft circuiting between the moving plate and the fixed plate. If you find something like that, you can adjust the screw or uh, adjust the curvature of the fixed plate of the moving plate. If you got an LC meter, you can test them like what I show here. Clip it at the moving plate and then the fixed plate. And test turning the knob to see whether the variable capacitance is what we need, which is around 4 PF to around 20 PF. Next, we need to complete the rest of the circuit by soldering. I won't bore you with the soldering work, so let's see the final outcome. This watch is designed to use the same watch belt as the Apple watch, so you can buy those belts and use it. I'm now testing with my in-house YRG antenna. Signal is a bit weak, so I can only tune to one station. Now let me put the watch on my hand and see how it looks. For this testing, I stand close to my apartment's window with a long telescopic antenna, 1.2 meter long, and see if I can receive anything. I brought my watch crystal radio closer to the FM transmission station on the top of the hill at the background, you see there, and seems to function very well. That's the end of my video. If you like my video, please click like, subscribe, share with your friends, and don't forget to click the bell so I can tell you when I have a new video. See you later. Thank you. Bye.